Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith. This is my website, paulbeckwith.net. I'm going to talk all about uh, Hurricane Ophelia, uh, which is still making a beeline to Ireland. A couple of days ago, um, I did this blog was posted on my website um, in association with a video called Hurricane Ophelia Heads to Ireland. So this was a few days ago, October 14th. I'm going to give an update as to what's happening, because this is a very, very serious storm, which is going to cause tremendous damages um, over Ireland. It, it's, it's a direct hit. Um, the storm is, in, in the last few days, the rotation speed of the storm has decreased um, as it's moving into colder water. But over the last six hours, since the 5 p.m. Sunday to 11 p.m. Sunday updates come in, the rotation speed of the storm is still at 85 miles per hour, um, and but its forward speed has actually increased. It was 38 miles per hour, and it's increased uh, six up to 44 miles per hour. I'll talk about these in kilometers as well in a bit. Um, all of this work I do um, is on my own time and just to try to educate people about the risks from abrupt climate change how this is related to climate change. So please consider supporting my work. Um, this is my only source of income at the moment, um, my PayPal account. And thank you to people that have. So let's get right into it here. So this is my, um, this is my Facebook page. And I just posted this um, a few minutes ago. Vital Ophelia information. The storm is moving this way. This is the right front quadrant, left front quadrant. The right front quadrant wind speed relative to the ground is the sum of the rotation speed plus the forward speed. This is crucial information. So with present values, 85 miles an hour plus 44 gives you 129, uh, which is 208 kilometers per hour. If you, a 208 kilometer per hour speed is equivalent to category three damages. You know, if the rotation speed slows to even below category one, as the storm progresses northward to Ireland over the, over the water, colder water, um, so let's say it slows down to say 70 mile per hour below the limit, that would put it into, uh, into a, 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 a below category one, tropical storm. Okay, the, the cutoff is about 74, 75 miles per hour. You still would add the 44, this could even be higher, gives you 114 mile per hour category three wind. So even though the whole storm can be categorized as going less than category one before it hits Ireland, Ireland is in the right front quadrant and will get these very, very high winds. And also, depending on the terrain, these winds can be channeled and tunneled between terrain and actually be even higher. This storm is extremely dangerous for Ireland, extremely dangerous. I can't emphasize that enough. So, so basically, I'm just going to show you here. Um, okay, so here we have the rotation speed right now being 85 miles an hour. It's a low pressure here because of the Coriolis force wind spin this way, this thing spinning this way, 85 miles an hour, but its forward motion is 44 miles per hour right now. So if you look at, um, so if you look at this quadrant here, you need to take the rotation is this way and the forward speed is that way. So the speed over the relative to the ground would be 85 minus 44 or 41 miles per hour here. This is out in the ocean though. This is what's coming over land here. The 85 rotation speed plus the 44 forward speed, 129 miles per, per hour. Okay. Um, and this is 208 kilometers an hour in this region. This is the, the region that is going right over, over Ireland. So this is, this is crucial information. Now, this is my Twitter feed. Just follow me at Paul H. Beckwith on Twitter. I'll follow you back. Um, this is the latest uh, on this storm. So our, we're right up here. Okay, 75, 85 mile an hour winds. 44 miles per hour forward speed, 969 millibar is the pressure, um, low pressure. This is more indicative of a category one or two storm, um, the pressure. 
Um, so as the storm is moving north, it's, it, it is slowing slightly the rotation speed and it's getting larger in size. So this is some data from 11 p.m., um, just the latest, uh, or 8 p.m. update. Um, this is the 5 p.m. advisory. I couldn't get the equivalent for 11. It, it didn't seem to come out, but here we are here, and this is the trajectory here. And just to remind you of the category winds, um, just Google hurricane categories and, and Google images and get the wind speed. So right now we're, you know, it's a category one storm at 85 miles per hour, but the winds, like if, you know, you add the winds in the forward right quadrant and those winds are category three damage winds, almost even, you know, 129 miles an hour is even, you know, approaching category four. So we're gonna get, get huge damage in the right quadrant of this storm. Okay, the best way to get updated information, like I've said, is, you know, I do loads of posts on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, just go on Twitter. If you don't have an account, just create one for this very purpose. Search for the hashtag Hurricane Ophelia, and you can get top stories, latest stories, and you get all of these constant updates on what's going on with the storm. So here's an image of the storm of how, how big it is and so on. Um, okay, and there's 60 new results. You can just click here and you get all the latest, you know, the latest results, okay, on this storm. Um, and you can do latest here. You know, these are the latest posts. Okay, versus the top post. Um, this is a more common, um, more popular hashtag, hashtag Ophelia. Okay, uh, lots of results since I've updated. I mean, people are joking about this, like hurricane precautions, you know, bungee cord your house to the ground so it doesn't fly up. I mean, this is, uh, <laughs> you know, if you had chains here, you know, on the roof, I'm not, this would be a good idea. You know, perhaps these court, this is, could be realistic. I don't know. I mean, it's said as a joke, but you know, if you had, I mean, the, any winds are just gonna pull these right out of the ground. But if you, if you had deep augers and set them deep in the ground and had your roof, it would perhaps keep your roof on. I don't know, um, interesting idea, but posted as a joke. So we could go, um, you know, if we just click on the new results here and it will update to the very latest um, of what is going on here. Okay, very the very latest. Of course, Hurricane Debbie was 1961. I'll talk about that. That's the only precedence we have for this, really. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk a bit about a chronology. So this is, um, if you go to the Google NHC, National Hurricane Center, dot NOAA, N-O-A-A, and then you can get the latest uh, forecast. So this is, I, this is where we are up here. We're tracking above, out of the range of the National Hurricane Center. We won't have more updates from them. And uh, this is where you get the 85 mile an hour, 44 mile an hour movement, and the 969 millibar pressure. So let's have a look back. This is, a, this is also, in, this is in the 11 p.m. update today. This is the 5 p.m. was the latest. They don't have, an 11 for this. Okay, so let's have, so what I'm doing here is I'm looking at the history going backwards in time. So here's where we are, we're 5 p.m. Sunday, 85 mile per hour wind, 38 miles per hour. Like I said, at 11 p.m., we've, this is still 85, this has gone up to 44. So the right front quadrant is the addition of these two. Like, I can't stress that enough. Um, and then let's go back in time so this is 11 a.m. It was 90 miles per hour and 38. So this was a bit, it was a bit faster. Um, let's go back, as we go back in time, you can see how the storm has, it's been going through um, colder water. Um, so it started to be decreasing from these numbers. It was 105 and 35. Go back even more, it was 115. Um, this is when it was a strong category, a category th it reached category three status. Okay, at this point here, um, which surprised everybody on, on Saturday and the movement was a bit slower. And if we go back, um, here we go, 115 again on Saturday at 5 p.m. Sorry, what was, uh, Saturday at 11 p.m., Saturday at 5 p.m. So for most of Saturday, this was a category three storm, 115. Now we go back to 
one fifteen Saturday, uh, 11 a.m. And then we go to Friday, and it's 100 miles an hour, okay? So it peaked at 115. It's going through warm water and getting larger, and it was moving a lot slower. It's getting stronger. So I'm going back in time here, going right back. Uh, here we go to uh, Wednesday at 5, Wednesday at 11 p.m., Thursday. Okay, so... You know what you can so what you can see is you can see the progression um you can follow this and see the progression of this storm as it um if i go backwards this way then you can see you know what going forward in time so wednesday at 5 p.m this is wednesday at 11 p.m thursday at 11 and, and so on thursday friday morning friday evening afternoon saturday morning saturday evening etc so you can see the progression so so the cone of, of information is actually being fairly accurate okay the right front quadrant i can't emphasize how important this is so here's an example 100 mile an hour rotation 20 forward this is the winds that you get on this side this is the winds that you get on this side you add them here, you subtract them here. And, um, okay, so here's some more information of, on this. And this is where tornadoes are spun off. So there's also a risk of tornadoes uh, spinning off from these uh, hurricanes. So because the winds are strongest in the right front quadrant, you can see all these tornadoes in the right front quadrant. This is the probability of occurrence um from in different quadrants so obviously up here over ireland we're going to have an issue possibly with tornadoes spinning off from this storm look at what happened with harvey there were lots of tornadoes spinning off from harvey for example um again if you just google go to google images and look at the categories you can convert it to miles per hour and you can see what type of damage happens for that type of wind speed the uh, damage with wind speed goes as the speed to the almost to the third power, not quite, as to the 2.7 power. So, so if you, um, you know, going from 120 to 130 miles per hour, for example, is a huge difference in damage. It's not just uh, you know 10% increase or whatever. It's much bigger than that because it's. Now here's a map of where this thing. So this thing's coming right up here. Um, so there's going to be lots of storm surge up here. There'll be a lot of storm surge here along the UK coast and stuff. The storm surge is going to be massive because this storm is massive and it's pushing all this water up here. You know, the right quadrant as the storm moves up here, all that water is going to be pushed up. So, you know, along the coast of, of, uh, of, of uh, England and Scotland and all this area, there's going to be large storm surge. and up here, you know, the water's gonna be pushed up into this channel and it's gonna build up. It doesn't have a lot of places to go. There's gonna be actually a current coming in here and a current going out there, okay? This is very important to also consider in the emergency preparations and um, before this thing hits. Um, okay, so here's Google Earth Null School and this is the sort of thing that you get. And, uh, you're looking at, uh, so you can click on this to get the menu. This is the default air. We're looking at the atmosphere, surface winds. Okay, click this to close it. This is the storm coming up here. Okay, and we can see what it's doing. Um, okay, massive compared to the, the UK. The UK. Um, we can also uh, look forward in time, and this is the projection going three hours forward, if this is going to work for me. You can go and look into the future at the forecast. It's freezing right now. I'm not sure why. Okay, but you can click this for three hour increments and you can see the storm come up across where it, and, and follow the path where it's going. Okay, um, this is the sea surface temperature. This is where the storm is right now. If I go back to air, this is the eye of the storm. Um, so I'm going back to ocean. And this is ocean waves. So 4.4 meters here. Here we're, uh, you know, 9, 9.7, almost 10 meters or 30 foot waves, 30, 33 foot waves here. If we go back to air and uh, put the location here and then go back to ocean, 